Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Jira administration tutorial, I'm going to discuss briefly about how you can backup and restore your Jira cloud site. And I'll cover very important interview questions as well. Now, backup and restore is a long topic. So this one will just stick to the basic interview questions and the basic backup and restore and what happens. And then in the advanced part of this particular course, I'll cover the whole backup and restore options. OK, so for backup and restore, if you're Jira administrator, go to settings and we'll go to the system. Right. And within the system, if you scroll down, you will have the complete import and export section there and then you have the backup manager right so in order to export a jira cloud site so for example i'll go to the backup manager okay and then here is a long details about the backup manager so let me minimize it now backup manager what it does is it will create a backup of your current data current site right so this is my site rcv academy hyphen us net jira data that will be backed up okay and i can keep it locally and then import it in a different jira cloud or jira server instance right now we are learning jira cloud so i'll import it in the jira cloud site now when you create a backup jira overrides any previous backup files on this page and then automatically deletes backup file after 14 days right interview question so when does i mean after how many days jira automatically deletes the backup file that's 14 days right so this could be your interview question or this could be your certification mostly certification question that automatically the backup file that you store here will be deleted okay so you have to make sure that you either you know download it and keep it locally now backup for cloud now backup for files for cloud include data from all projects okay both company managed and team managed which is formerly was next gen so it it will get all the projects that are there on this particular site and we'll see there is just one project so one project will be included and cloud backups are intended for importing jira cloud products only right so make sure that when we are doing this it is totally for jira cloud and we are not going to attempt this import for the jira server for jira server there is another option where it where is backup for jira server okay so there is a you know different configuration and different type of project that we have to basically do in the cloud instance so that we can import it in the jira server or data center instance but as of now we are going to create a backup for jira cloud because this is jira cloud administration course so i'll show, make sure that we include attachment avatars and logo so if you check this it will include any attachment avatars and logos as well but if you uncheck it won't include any of that okay so make sure what your requirement are are and based on that you check and uncheck this okay if you need attachment avatars and logos make sure you check it and then create backup for cloud okay so i've clicked on create backup for cloud and it will start exporting the data now there is just one project the kanban project in this particular instance so it should be a bit quicker to export that particular data okay so you'll see that download cloud backup option is now available right now if i go ahead and click on create backup for cloud another interview question what will happen so it's written here itself right so create backup for what what it will do is when you create a backup it will automatically overwrite any previous backup file on this page okay so another interview question so if i create a backup again anything that was here and say for example now i go back and create a new project okay and then create a backup then the new backup will contain two projects and the old one will be overwritten okay so if i have to keep this one as well i'll make sure i click on download so it downloads locally right as a zero export dot zip that's there and now i can go ahead and import this okay so what i can do is i can go ahead and import it into a different jira cloud site or jira server right so we'll go ahead and import this into a jira cloud site so what i'll do is let me go to G this is jira this is rcv academy us which has just one project so if i go to the project and go to view all projects you'll see that there, there is just one project right so if i go view all you'll see just one project now if i go to the so let me import this to other side which is rcv academy au right and here if i go back and import let's see if i have access because this is a free instance of jira so i'm not sure if that will allow okay yeah so it it does allow right so basically if i go to the backup manager or basically import jira cloud right so not the backup manager so to import jira cloud we have import jira cloud 
link there in the import and export so you go to import jira cloud and this use this method to import project data users media file from another jira cloud site so another jira cloud site that i exported data was us okay rcv academy us and now i can go ahead and use this to basically use this import wizard to import the data here right so if i select import data now here you will see that i haven't taken backup for this one right so what you will see here you will see there is a rcv team managed project here okay so if i go ahead and import what happens is this is another interview question that when you import anything that is there on this particular site right so importing your data file will overwrite all data in your cloud site okay anything that is there on this particular site will be overwritten there is no you won't be able to recover it because it's not stored and the data will be gone forever right so that's why there is a alert here or basically a warning that you create a backup first so i'll create a backup i'll go to the backup manager and create a backup for cloud for this particular site as well and then download it and then i'll show you importing the data from the other site to this site okay so backup has been created i'll click on download cloud backup and another backup for this au site is created now i'll go ahead and import right so i'll import jira cloud site the us one to the au okay i'll go ahead and import data and then in the downloads so this was the file right so this was the file i'll select that jira export which was from the us which has this kanban project and then i'll go ahead and click on open and you'll see that it started processing the import file it successfully processed right so apply settings to check for error so you'll see that check file we have checked your file for issues and everything looks good and then you have a warning of overwrite existing data right so importing a database backup will overwrite any existing data in the in this particular cloud site so then depending on what or op which option you have chosen this will also either overwrite any existing users or merge so basically of everything that you see if you have split the exported file and you want to don't want to change a few things you can do that that but mostly assume that everything in this particular site will be gone right so i'll go ahead okay i'm fine because i have an anyways taken backup and downloaded the file so i'll go ahead and run the import and the import will start and you'll see the progress of all the tasks that need to be executed so this will take a little time so please be patient until all the progress is complete it will prompt you the next option okay so it's activating jira cloud now it's it's already been like four minutes for the import five minutes for the import and it should be done soon so you have to be patient when you are importing make sure that it, if there are more projects more data i think it will take a lot okay so you can see that import is complete your data file was successfully imported to jira cloud right and then you see there are a few more things if you have imported restored from jira cloud perform these steps attachment project avatars logos uh, which we have already done right and then if we have basically imported uh, once once we have finished the importing and testing your data then you can say grant application access to any imported groups right so if there are any imported groups from the other site then we have to say grant application access and if we want to import media we simply go ahead and click on import media as of now we exported the media and we imported everything together so i think media should have been there automatically and i am not going to do any application access because i don't think we have any imported groups that need access that okay so let's see what has happened and you will see that now on this au site i have this my kanban project available right so if i go to view all projects you will see the previous project is gone and my kanban project is there and that's why jira recommended to take the backup because everything will get overwritten okay and you won't be able to see any of those details and you'll see that even logo got changed because we imported everything right so previously this au site has rcv academy logo and avatars and all of that has been overwritten by the import that we have done now we have back to the default jira logo because the us site was the default jira logo right so if we go to the us site you'll see everything that was there on the us site is basically what exactly is here okay so that's 
the brief of importing or basically exporting a Jira cloud site and then importing it and what all things you have to consider in case you want to import or there are some groups that are additional groups that are uh, added from the import the button that was shown there so if I go back let's see if we can still see that to grant the permission right so here grant application access that will basically grant application access to any of the additional imported groups okay so you can do that and then importing media separately you can click on import media now this restore is not the Jira server this is totally cloud so we'll just focus on Jira cloud and not the server to avoid any of the complications in this particular learning right so you can go ahead and learn Jira cloud completely and then focus on the Jira server changes that are there okay so that's about the Jira import and export Jira cloud export and import and now coming to the interview question which you have already covered previously so will the previous data be retained after importing Jira cloud backup file Absolutely not. We have seen this in action that if you export a Jira cloud site and then import it in another site, all the data that is there on the other site will basically get replaced by the backup file, right? So no retention. Then what file formats are supported when importing issues from another source? Okay, one more thing. So in Jira, if you go to the admin, go to system. So you can also import issues from the import and export wizard. So with, with within import and export, you will see that external system import is there, right? So you have also option to import from external system wherein you can import issues in the from the external system which are say for example in the csv format or in from trello or from json so these three formats are supported and in future they might be you know more so keep an eye on that so on 31st july that's what they have said uh, we are replacing this old importer with a better tool right in the meantime we recommend using these tools to import your data so 30 post 31st july 2024 there will be a different option that you will see here for jira import and there might be more options available in that particular tool so as of now this answer is correct what file formats are supported when importing issues from data another source which is basically csv trello and json but post 31st this might not be true they might support some more file formats right because there will be a new tool so you have to make sure whenever you are at attempting the exam or doing a jira admin task and work you are across the latest changes and the releases that jira or atlassian does for their products okay so that's all for this video i hope it was helpful see you in the next lecture thank you